Hey you guys, first off, sorry the camera's at a weird angle. Yeah. Um, yeah, just sorry. I was gonna do it on my webcam because my camera doesn't have any more batteries, but that wasn't looking too good, so I'm doing it on my phone. But anyways, that's besides the point. Um, so I haven't done a life update in a really long time. So there's been like so much stuff that has gone out, gone on. In like the past month, month and like a couple of weeks, maybe a month. I don't know. I lose track of time so much. So, um, first off, let's see. I started college, um, two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, online, and I really, really like it. Like sometimes it's hard to be really focused yeah, because of yeah. Isabella, but I like the fact that I don't have to leave her every day to go to school because. I was going to take a summer class at the school called Classic yeah, Tech, yeah. and I was going to have to leave Isabella every day from 10 to 2, like that's how long I would be in class yeah, from 10 yeah. to 2, so I'd have to leave her probably from about 9 until 3. So yeah, that is, is that was something that I wanted to do, so I looked at online colleges, and I started Everest University Online, and I'm getting my business degree, and that is going really good. Um, I've only been doing it for two weeks, and my grades are like really good. But, um, so, yeah, if you're interested in learning about that college, you know, you could ask me and I could tell you or whatever, but, yeah, that's, I'm going to college, and right now I'm taking a computer applications class and a strategy, strategies for success class. Yeah, they're pretty easy, but I'll get into the bigger stuff later. And so, yeah, I started college, and I'm, like, super excited about that because, like, I never thought that whenever I became a teen mom, I never thought that I could make it to college. But we're here. We made it to college. Um, my graduation is um, June the 13th. I don't know if we'll videotape. We might take pictures. I might post them on here. I really don't know yet. Because, you know, it'll be my graduation, so it's up to my mom what she does, like if she takes pictures or whatever. But, um... I don't know if you guys know this, but I did get my GED, and they do provide, like, well, they do let you do, like, a little graduation where you walk across the stage, and you get, like, a certificate of graduation and stuff like that, and so, um, I have a blue gown, and, well, blue cap and gown, so I got that yesterday, I'm, like, super excited, don't touch, don't touch, so, um, that's what's really been going on with, like, school and stuff, um, I don't have a job. I don't know if you guys have ever talked about yeah. that, but I'm, I'm really trying to get a job. Like, yeah. I've put in so many applications. I even went to the unemployment office. Like, I need a job, like, bad. So, hopefully I can get a job. Um, we're still moving. I talked about this, I think, in my last update or something. I don't know. I mentioned it in one video, but we're still moving back to Fort Smith. Um, we'll be moving probably in like July and of course you know I'll, I'll keep you guys updated and I'll do like a vlog the whole way there and stuff because it's only like two and a half hours but I vlogged the last time I went up there so um, I'll vlog again and I'll vlog our new apartment because I'll be living with my mom for about a month if we leave in July I'll be living with my mom for a month and then I'm gonna move out because I'll be 18 in August but if we leave after August then um, I'll have my own place, so I'll definitely do, like, a house tour and stuff like that, but so, like, this, this whole, like, month and a half, really, has been, like, really good, I guess, until a couple weeks ago, like, two weeks ago, so, um, as, I don't know if you have watched my past videos, but Isabel's dad, um, he got into a lot of trouble, and he was in jail for a really long time, and then he got bailed out and he had court the other day and uh he has to go to prison and i'm not going to really get into all the details about like what he did or whatever but he has to go to prison and um it's pretty sad because i mean i don't want him to go to prison he doesn't deserve to go to prison it's just a lot of stuff he was in the wrong place at the wrong time and got like got he did something they i'm trying to explain this they did something they said he did something that he didn't do and since, from hearsay, he got convicted of it. I guess that could be a word I'd say. But, um, yeah, so he has to go to prison Monday, which is sad. But I look at it as maybe it'll open his life up and maybe he'll change a little bit. And maybe that will bring me, him, and Isabella closer. 
I really don't know what to do. I've never been in this situation, but I'll keep you guys updated on that. But yeah, he yeah. has to go to prison Monday, and he has to do seven years. So, yeah. And um, I know you, some of you guys saw on Facebook that I got engaged. And um, there is a whole lot of stuff we need to talk about with that. Because I've been dating this guy yeah. for six months. We started dating in December. Sorry about that. I'm using my laptop to prop my, mom, my phone on. And uh, Isabel just knocked it down. But um, I've been dating this guy for six months. And... We started dating, well, I'm just going to tell you guys the whole story because I want to be honest with you guys. Um, we, I've been friends with him since like the ninth grade, so we've known each other for about two years. And um, we saw each other at the grocery store in December, no, it wasn't November, it was either November or December. And he was like, you know, we should hang out. And so, um, I was like, yeah, sure. And so I messaged yeah. him on Facebook one day and I was like, hey, we should go on a date. Because, I mean, like, he's a really good guy and stuff, so I was like, okay, we, well, let's go on a date. So, then, um, one day, like, I told him from the very beginning that I did not want to, um, I didn't want to move into anything fast because I wasn't sure if I wanted to be in a relationship because I still love, I'm still in love with my baby's daddy. That sounds so ghetto. I'm still in love with Isabel's dad. So, I told him that or whatever, and I'm like, you know, I, I don't want to move too fast. So, he was like, okay, so one day we're sitting on my couch, and... He's sitting there telling me that his mom didn't know that we were boyfriend and girlfriend. And I didn't know that we were boyfriend and girlfriend either. I was like, oh, yeah, we are, you know, because I didn't know that we were. But, uh, you know, my mom told me that I should have stopped him then and said, like, hey, you know, we didn't talk about being boyfriend and girlfriend, you know, so let's not do this. But instead of doing that, which is what I should have done, I just kind of let it go on. And then in January, he went to jail. And... I know you guys are probably like, why is she keep on talking to these guys that go to jail? Well, my boyfriend didn't go to jail for something that he did wrong. Well, I mean, he did something wrong, obviously, to go to jail. But he got in trouble for no insurance. Which isn't like a, well, it's a crime, but it's not like something bad or whatever. But really, the reason why he got put in jail is because this judge don't like him. And the judge don't like nobody. But, yeah, that's besides the point. But anyways, so he went to jail and... I didn't want to be with him in the first place, but then that he went to jail, I was like, I couldn't break up with him in jail because I would feel bad, so I basically just kept on living my life whenever he was in jail, and I maybe wrote him like three letters, and I went and saw him twice, that's it, and he was in jail for five and a half months, I want to say, so, um, yeah, I just was still, I was still calling myself his girlfriend, but I really wasn't acting like a girlfriend, and this past Friday on the 31st, he got out of jail. So, that meant I had to start actually being his girlfriend again. And then he asked me to marry him. And you don't want to say no to somebody who asks you to marry them. So, I was like, yeah, you know, even though I wasn't ready. So, like I said, I didn't ever want to be with him in the first place. It's not because I didn't like him. It's not because I didn't want to be with him. It's just because I knew that I was still in love with Isabella's dad. So, Whenever I found out, like, I was going to try to be with, his name is Shalik. I was going to try to be with him. I really was, like, after we talked about getting married, I really wanted that. I really wanted to get married and stuff, and I really wanted it to work. But then, Sean got that, the Sean got the prison sentence, and all these feelings about Isabella's dad just came up again. And I just could not look at him as Isabella's dad. I kept on looking at him as, like, the person that I love, the person I want to be with. And all this stuff, and I just couldn't do it to Shalik, so we sat down and we talked, and um, I told him, you know, I don't know what to tell you, I'm still in love with Isabella's dad, and I'm really sorry, I shouldn't have led you on, but I don't know what to do, and so he, he asked me, he's like, well, I still want to be with you, I understand you're going through all this stuff, and he was like, well, what do you want to do, do you still want to be my girlfriend or my fiance, and I was like, look, I just think that I need to focus on being a mom and focus on school right now and just be single. So, I'm not engaged anymore, and we broke up, and, you know, like, like I said, like, I really wanted it to work, I really did, because I deserve to be happy, and he deserves to be happy, and he's a really, really, really nice guy, like, he's beyond nice, like, any girl that's lucky to get him is gonna, like, be in love, because he is just so sweet, like, he would rub my feet, and just be sweet, like, he would help me with Isabella, it's just, you, I cannot sit there and lie to somebody and keep saying, like, I'm in love with you whenever I'm in love with someone else. And a lot of people kept telling me, what's wrong, baby? 
a lot of people kept telling me, like, just be with him anyway, those feelings will go away, you know, just hide those feelings, and I just felt guilty, like, I can't, I don't want to be with somebody if I'm in love with somebody else, you know, so, I just kind of, like, broke it off, but, um, that's what's been really going on in my life, I mean, the whole school thing, and then the Sean thing, and then the Shalik thing, and, yeah, I just, I don't know, this whole, like, it's been so hectic, and I don't want you guys to judge me because, mm -hmm. like, all this stuff is going on in my life. But it doesn't really matter because it's not affecting me and Isabella. I mean, we can still always be, i always be her mom and always take care of her and stuff. But, um, yeah, I think that's it to update on. I mean, I have, I'm trying to think, like, I'm trying to think. My brother's right there. Let's see if I can. Oh, he moved. But, yeah, so that's what's really been going on in my life. I mean, it's been making me kind of be stressed out a little bit, but um, I'm just going to keep on doing it and living my life the way that I need to and stuff. But, um, just, like I said, just keep me and my family in um, your prayers because, I mean, like, we're going through hardships right now with Isabel's dad and stuff, so. Um, just, my brother is just being mean, but, um, I will talk to you guys, um, later, I guess, but also, I didn't do my, um, my week three, yeah, week three weight loss video, because I kind of forgot, so, um, yeah, I will do that, I will do my week four weight loss video, and just, like, kind of do that, because it's already Friday, and if I do it, then I'll just be doing the same thing again on Sunday. So, um, I will talk to you guys on Sunday. And, um, like, I, like I said, just please keep us in your prayers. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.